so uh, welcome to another video uh, of kinematics part 2 uh, i'm cyrus ishaq and this is o level physics right so in this second part of the video i'm going to discuss about acceleration and uh, i'm going to talk about uniform acceleration i'm going to talk about non uniform acceleration and negative acceleration which is also called deceleration or retardation so first of all i'm going to talk about acceleration what acceleration actually is so acceleration is acceleration is the rate of change of velocity acceleration is the is the rate of change of velocity so what do you understand by this well since the velocity is changing so that is giving rise to the acceleration now i'm just going to write the formula for this and then i'll give you another explanation of that that this acceleration is a vector quantity it is a it is essentially a vector quantity so acceleration is a vector quantity it has direction because the velocity is involved so it is a vector quantity so acceleration is the final velocity minus initial velocity over the time interval delta t here this final velocity is let's say the car is moving from this starting point o and it had an initial velocity let's say it started from rest so the initial velocity u u is the initial velocity initial velocity let's say the initial velocity was 0 meter per second and it covered a certain distance and it moved to another place and uh, let's say the final velocity at that particular time was the final velocity was 20 meter per second right this v is the final velocity this v is the final velocity and let's say delta t is the time interval from going to from this place to this place let's say this is point a this is point b and it took a time interval of delta t delta t let's say is uh 5 seconds right so the acceleration is going to be using this formula that i have given right the acceleration is v minus u acceleration final velocity is 20 the initial velocity was 0 and the time interval was 5 seconds so this is going to be 4 meters per second square now why the units are meter per second square because you see the acceleration is the acceleration is change in velocity over the time taken right time interval this change in velocity has units meter per second the units for this are meter per second and the units for time are second right so if i divide meter per second by second it becomes meter per second square so meter per second divided by seconds is in fact meter per second multiplied by 1 over s and that gives you this equation that is that this this notation that is meter per second square or you can simply write it like this as well ms minus 2 so the si units for acceleration are for acceleration or meters per second square or ms minus 2 right so these are the units for acceleration as i've already told you that acceleration is the rate of change of velocity so again the rate of change signifies that time is involved this thing you see the rate of change here means that time is involved so acceleration is the rate of change of velocity i can also write this notation as like this 
I can also write the expression as a is equal to delta v over delta t. That is the rate of change of velocity. Right. Okay. Moving ahead. Let's talk about the uniform acceleration. Uniform acceleration. Uniform acceleration means that when the rate of change of velocity is constant. Uniform acceleration is when the rate of change of velocity, the rate of change of velocity is constant. So what do you understand by this expression? The rate of change of velocity is constant. This means that the velocity is changing with the, with the same rate, right? Every time the velocity is changing with the same rate. I'm give you, I'll give you an example. Let's say this is the car. Let's call this first part of the journey. Although it is moving continuously, right? But let's call this as the first part of the journey. The initial speed was zero meter per second u is denoted by with the initial speed and let's say at some point of the journey the final speed was 10 meters per second so if i talk about the time interval delta t that is one second let's say so the acceleration during this part is v minus u over delta t and that is going to be 10 minus 0 over 1 that is 10 meters per second square Right. The acceleration here is 10 meter per second square. Now, this car was continuing with this journey. And uh, for the next part, for the next one second. Now, its initial speed is, this was the final speed for the first part, right? Now, it is moving in the same direction, but I take it, I take for this time interval, the initial speed as 10 meter per second. Right? And for the next one second, that is, for the next one second, delta t is equal to one second. The total time now is two seconds, right? So t here is now two seconds. Here the t was zero. And it covered a distance till t is equal to one. So it, it was now the t was one here, right? And delta t is now two minus one, that is one. Two minus one, that is one. So now the final velocity is again 20 meter per second. So you see, if I calculate the value for the acceleration, right, that is going to be equivalent to, the acceleration is going to be equivalent to V minus U over delta T. So that is in fact 20 minus 10 divided by 1. You see this delta t. So this is again 10 meter per second square. You see both of these expressions, this one, this expression, and this expression are the same. So this means that the rate of change of velocity is constant. The car is changing its velocity 10 meter per second every second. The rate of these, this example shows that this, ex this example shows that the car is changing its velocity at the rate of at the rate of 10 meters per second every second. So the rate of change of velocity is constant. Acceleration is constant. This is uniform acceleration. This is also known as constant acceleration. So this is uniform or constant acceleration. This is uniform or constant acceleration. Right? Uniform or constant acceleration. 
let's talk about the, the non uniform acceleration it has two parts one of one of them is increasing acceleration and the other one is decreasing acceleration i'm going to discuss them in further more detail on my video uh, regarding the speed time and distance time graphs right so increasing acceleration and decreasing acceleration so they will become more clear there as well remember that that in both of these cases the speed is going to increase the velocity is going to increase since it is moving in the same direction so i'll take the speed as the velocity if the speed and the speed and velocity go they go along with each other if they are in the same direction so let's say if a car is moving uh, in the direction towards right and it has a speed of 5 meter per second i'll say that it has a velocity of 5 meter per second as well so let's talk about the increasing and increasing acceleration and decreasing acceleration one thing to remember here is decreasing acceleration is by no means equivalent to deceleration deceleration and decreasing acceleration are a different thing this is a major conceptual thing that decreasing acceleration is very much different from deceleration or retardation so let's talk about increasing acceleration first and then we'll move towards decreasing acceleration so let's say this is a car and uh, the car is moving with an initial velocity of let's say 5 meter per seconds and uh, it covered a certain distance and uh, the final velocity at this point after time interval of let's say 3 seconds is 15 meter per second right you can say that the time here is of the time interval is 3 seconds it's not necessary that it started from rest right it can start from rest as well but let's say the time here was 5 seconds and now the time is 8 seconds so 8 minus 5 is 3 so the time interval here is 3 seconds acceleration here is going to be equivalent to delta v over delta t that is v minus u over delta t so that is 15 minus 5 over 3 and that is equivalent to 10 by 3 meter per second square let's make it a more simpler notation let's call this time interval 2 seconds so that we have a simpler notation here let's call this 2 so 10 by 2 meter per second square is your answer that is 5 meter per second square all, all right so moving ahead if the same car continued its journey and here i take this speed now in the second part of the journey as 15 meter per second and for the next two seconds since i need to make it uniform right for the next two seconds the velocity of this car the final velocity of this car is 45 meter per second right you see initially in the first part of the journey the initial velocity was 5 and the final velocity was 15 now the initial velocity is 15 and the final velocity is 45 so acceleration is going to be equivalent to v minus u over delta t and uh, v is 45 here and u is 15 and delta t is 2 so this is going to be 15 meter per second square so you see the trend what happened the acceleration increased from 5 meter per second square to 15 meter per second square so this is the increasing acceleration the acceleration is increasing this is known as the increasing acceleration acceleration increased from 5 meter per second square to 15 meter per second square this is known as increasing acceleration and of course this is a non-uniform acceleration 
because it is increasing it is not constant so non uniform acceleration let's talk about the fact that when the car's acceleration is decreasing when the car's acceleration is decreasing you'll see a very important thing here that although the acceleration is decreasing this the velocity is still increasing you got to see that so non uniform acceleration part 2 that is decreasing acceleration decreasing acceleration so let's say i had a i have this car uh its initial velocity was uh, let's say 10 meter per seconds the final velocity is 30 meter per seconds time interval is 1 seconds right let's let's make it more simpler and uh, for the next part of the journey the initial velocity becomes 30 and the final velocity is now 40 meter per seconds time interval is the same 1 second so let's say car here was moving the time interval the time here was let's say t is equal to 2 seconds and now the time is equal to 3 seconds and here the time is equivalent to 3 seconds and now the time is equal to 4 seconds you see 3 to 4 the delta t is 1 and here 3 to 2 the delta t is still 1 so the time interval is same for both of them now let let me calculate the acceleration with both of these parts so the acceleration here is v minus u over delta t that is 20 30 minus 10 is 20 20 over 1 that is 20 meter per second square and here you see the change in velocity is 10 over delta t that is 10 meters per second square you see the difference although the speed is increasing you see the speed is increasing but the acceleration has decreased the speed is increasing all the way here the speed is increasing okay the acceleration is this but you see here the speed is increasing the velocity is increasing right but the acceleration is decreasing so this is known as decreasing acceleration you see this is not negative acceleration this is decreasing acceleration this is neither deceleration nor retardation nor negative acceleration the acceleration is still positive but it is decreasing so this is non uniform non uniform decreasing acceleration you cannot confuse this with deceleration that is a different thing that's what i'm going to talk later right okay 